This video is sponsored by Decal Works, offering 10% off all graphics to retail customers. Use the promo code RX10 at decalmx.com to receive 10% off your graphics. Hey guys, welcome to another Racer X garage build. This is a special one here for me today. I brought my uh, one of my good buddies, Hondas, out here. So he is a fireman. He's about 48 years old, and he loves Hondas. He bleeds red, of course, right? But for me, I give him a lot of crap because his bikes, basically, you're looking at a bike that could roll right into A1 right now, and you would not even know the difference. Like his tires are so slippery and black every time we ride that I can't even tell if he even rode his dirt bike that day. Literally, we will go to a muddy track and his bike never, ever seems to have mud on it. It's like he has some special repellent that you can't even get mud on this thing. So I wanted to go over this bike because it has some special things that I think you Honda owners need. So it's a 2022 CRF 450R Works Edition. And there's more chassis modifications to this bike because I think Honda needs more chassis work than engine work. But we have massaged the engine a little bit with Chad from XPR on the Vortex side of things, ECU electronics. But the special part for me is we have some ride engineering clamps and also we have Mark from REP. He has some magic settings for you Honda owners out there between the fork, the shock, and a linkage system. So I'm gonna go ride this thing, talk a little crap about my buddy, and we'll bring it on back and give you some information that maybe you can roll over into your new Honda. All right, so I just got done riding my buddy, David Martinez, 2022 CRF 450R WE. Now, for you Honda owners out there, for me, the number one thing that I would do to my bikes, if you plan on doing any modifications, would be with chassis and suspension. So, Dave has had this bike for a little over a year now, and, uh, and we like to, what we call, bust his balls a little bit, because he keeps the stuff really clean, He's always uh, has the best looking bikes. I mean, you can see this is more like a Roxen, um, a Bercy, Paris Bercy last year, Roxen edition with the black shrouds and the red fenders, but looks really good. But I helped him out with some suspension and we took his stuff over to Mark at REP and Mark builds a linkage system for this bike. So if you're a Honda owner, you know, when you hit square edge, it just, it's a very harsh feeling. It comes right up through this seat and you never get a lot of traction because it's always just jackhammering your back. What we call GHB. GHB is Glen Helen back. Every time you go to Glen Helen on a Honda, your back is sore for two to three days. So the stiff nature chassis of this Honda, at least the feeling of it when you ride it, is just on edge of tire, always getting deflection. So what Mark does to the fork, um, he revalves it. We have ride engineering 23.5 millimeter clamps that calms that chassis down a little bit, but along with the shock, it's mated to this linkage system. And Mark over there at REP has really dialed in the linkage and it's more of a linear curve. So you don't get as much of that harsh feeling through your back. That's the first thing I noticed about David's bike is it's a little bit stiffer in nature, but it has great holdup and has more plushness and it doesn't hurt my back. Here at this track today, um, we're at Colton Udall's place and it's just, it's more of like a scat track, what we call in the desert a scat track. It's a turn track with some jumps, but it gets really edgy and, uh, and hard pack. This bike has more traction than stock as well as less harshness from the rear just because of this linkage system and the suspension that Mark um, had over here, along with this 23.5 millimeter split clamp from Ride Engineering. Those things right there calm the chassis down. And for me, adding a little bit of horsepower and stretching that out, the XPR Vortex ECU, really calms the bike down when I'm on edge of tire. To me, this is where this bike needs it. Every time I'm trying to set up for a corner or cut across um, some edges to get into a rut, this bike suffers, but with the mods here, 
I feel like it actually calms the bike down and for me makes it more enjoyable to ride. There's nothing wrong with a Honda cornering. This bike corners really well, but I need more stability. These modifications help me. David put twin wall, Renthal twin wall bars. To me, that's too stiff of a bar. I would go to a fat bar, a fat bar or a Pro Taper Evo bar, um, but he likes the looks of a crossbar, so that is what is he went with. Um, another thing that is important with the engine, it is stock just with this Akrapovich muffler, which is beautiful by the way, and the Vortex tuned uh, ECU from um, Chad at XPR. So with those things right there, it gives you a little bit more bottom end pickup, but it broadens the mid range and top end out so I can use second gear more. In stock form, second gear is very short on a Honda and I, can't, I don't have enough meat on a Honda to lug it in third. With a Vortex ECU from XPR, as well as this Akrapovich muffler, I can lug it in third gear, and I don't have to downshift to second in some of these tight corners. For me, that is important to go fast, and I want that. As well, running third gear and being able to run third gear on this bike helps the chassis. So yes, a little bit of engine modifications can help this chassis, and uh, a Vortex, as well as a muffler, like this Akrapovich, can help your Honda out there. Otherwise, Decal Works graphics, Dunlop um, tires, as well as a Henson clutch. It's a little bit stiffer on the lever, but for me, I kind of like that. It keeps me off the lever, and it's a little less on-off feeling, so Henson makes a great system for this, for this bike. And little things here, DID um, LTX rims, Dunlop MX33 tires, and that's really all about pretty much it. Little works connection trinkets on the bike. But for me, with this build, it's all about comfort and chassis. And the guys over at Ride Engineering, REP, as well as Chad over there at XPR really does help this bike along. I will say to David, um, he couldn't make it out here to ride his own bike within this video. You have done a great job with your bike. Even though we do bust you up, it does look good. You can leave your comments here uh, below and tell Dave what you think he needs. But uh, for me, I think it looks really good with the black shrouds, the black and red seat, and, uh, and of course, it's fun to ride for me. So I've been riding a Honda for about six to seven days now, and I get on this, and it feels a lot better than the production-based bike. So um, if you are a Honda owner, take some of these notes right here, use them, help yourself, get a more comfortable ride. If you have any questions, chris at keferinktesting.com. I'm happy to help you, and look for more garage uh, builds that we do right here on racerxonline.com. See ya.